Hello, thank you for joining me. Today we're going to Miniature Railway number five on our list of all the Miniature Railways. And it is the Woking Miniature Railway, also known as the Mizens or Misens Miniature Railway. And it is just here. And I think I can actually see something over the hedge that looks quite exciting. So um, here we are, we've arrived. Have a look out on the, on the left. Looks like a full-size steam loco. It's a three foot six gauge South African steam loco built in Glasgow. Hot the car, we'll go out and have a look at that. And then um, we'll go and have a look at the rest of the miniature railway and have a ride because it's come here a few years ago and it's quite an exciting place, quite an extensive railway. So here we are, we've arrived in my larder and the steam locomotive is just behind us. So as I said, it's the South African Railways locomotive built to the, their gauge of three foot six. It was actually built in Britain, built in Glasgow by Dubs. So if you have a look at it in front, it, it appears to be a big loco, but you might just be able to see the track is a bit narrower. It's actually what appears to be a section of British standard gauge track here. I'm not quite sure why. If we stand back here, you can um, sort of see the difference in size between British standard gauge track and the South African three foot um, six narrow gauge track. See, it's got a big light on the front. That's not really a feature British locos tended to have. Now, if we go a bit closer, we can actually see there's a dubs plate on it. It's got the diamond you see that diamond up there? If you ever see a loco of a diamond on, it normally means it's built in Glasgow. And this was actually built in 1899, so it's over 100 years old. It was built to works number 3819. It's, um, it's also got quite an unusual wheel arrangement. We stand back a bit, we can see it's a 482. So that's, I don't think there's any British steam locos with that wheel arrangement. So that's really quite a nice introduction. So you arrive at the Miniature Railway, you park your car over there. Most of you probably don't have a larder, but you park whatever car you drive there. You've got a steam locomotive there. And if we walk across this field, we've already seen something else quite unusual. This is before we even got to the miniature railway. I mean, it's almost easy to think we're at some kind of um, open air railway museum at the moment, because we haven't yet actually seen any miniature trains, but I promise you, we've got a very exciting, extensive miniature railway to go and have a look at. So, the next um, thing of interest that's not actually miniature, um, but appears to be here, is this here. It appears to be a sculpture of a steam locomotive, a two foot gauge. It looks a bit like a Bagnall steam loco, but it's yeah. not a real steam loco. I'm not quite sure it's significant. Yeah. So anyone knows how and why that got here, um, you're more than welcome to comment tell me. Now, we're gonna follow the path down here and it's becoming quite amusing this still no miniature but here's some standard gauge rolling stock in the form of a southern region electric multiple unit carriage now i remember these as a child I remember going down to eastbourne on one so um that's quite exciting and i think if we go up here onto the bridge we might actually see a train on the miniature railway there we go if we look down there there's a train coming going through there into their station. So it's really quite um, an exciting, extensive miniature railway. Because they've got effectively, I think they've got like a big double track main line going around there. They've got a loop off around there. And they've also got an inner loop, but I'm not sure if that's running today. So let, let's then have another look at the um, electric multiple unit, because as soon as I saw it, I heard the train. I wanted to go and see that. So. Let's have a closer look. So as I said, I remember travelling on these down to Eastbourne as a child. Um, that's the carriage number. The actual set number is up there. I don't know if you can see it, but it is number 3568. So the driver would have sat in the front there. Um, you can see it's, um, for those of you who don't know too much about third rail, etc. That is, it's... Um, shoe it's third rail shoe and they've actually put, even put a piece of third rail track so that's how it would have picked up its electricity from the juice rail as it's known it's one of these ones it's got um 
open carriages there and it's got some first class compartments. And I remember sitting in one of them and um, there, there used to be one standard class if I remember rightly. I remember sitting in the standard class compartment and travelling down to Eastport. So that's their station building. But now I think let's go for a ride in the train so we go down here. Um, actually I think this is their departure, um, their arrivals platform. In order to catch a train I've got to go over there. But one other thing while we're here, I do like how they've actually got real platform edge stones. So I'm going to go and get on the train, so let's enjoy the ride.
about six too many of them. <laughs> yeah, no, no.